The Black September terrorists escaped. The Black September terrorists negotiated with German police and they were escorted to an airport and they were guaranteed that they would be put on a plane. The police tricked them and there was a shootout at the airport and unfortunately the terrorists killed all of the hostages and most of the terrorists died in that shootout. Moving on, we talked about three terrorism incidents, and now we're going to talk about how we should respond to modern terrorism. How has the U.S. responded to modern terrorism? Well, there have been heightened security at home, and we have increased government surveillance and the giving up of some privacy rights. And you see here our reality now. A young woman is patted down at an airport for security reasons. Is this security guard violating privacy rights? That's the question that we still are debating today. Now, out of 9-11 comes a law, a law called the USA Patriot Act. Now, USA Patriot Act, it stands for Uniting and Strengthening America, by providing appropriate tools required to intercept and obstruct terrorism. This bill was signed into law one month after 9-11. It was a response to terrorism. And it was strongly supported by political leaders in the United States. For example, 98 out of 99 U.S. Senators voted for it. And you see President George W. Bush signing this bill into law with a desk that says protecting the homeland. We wanted to prevent another September 11th terrorist attack on U.S. soil. What does the USA Patriot Act do? Well, there are two major points from this act. First, it gives law enforcement power to jail citizens based on suspicion of terrorist activity without a trial by jury. It also gives law enforcement power to monitor telephone records, emails, and internet activity without court approval. There are supporters of this law. Some say the Patriot Act protects us all. Since 9-11, we have not had a major terrorist attack in the U.S. Critics of the Patriot Act have said the government is given too many rights and we have been violated. It says the Patriot Act is watching you. This person obviously feels like the Patriot Act has violated his privacy. The question becomes now, and the open debate is, should the U.S. devote money and troops to help fight international terrorism? Here is a picture that shows members of ISIS, a terrorist group in the Middle East. Here's the ISIS flag. ISIS stands for Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. President Obama has answered this question by saying, we will send troops into Iraq to help fight ISIS. His dilemma, as this article from the Washington Post says is how do you shore up the country's, Iraq's, fragile government without being pulled more deeply into a war he, Obama, never wanted? How do you manage this? Well, the question is answered by politicians. Who elects politicians? We do. So it's up to us to listen to our political leaders and to vote them in office or out of office depending on how we answer this question. All right, we're almost done. Before we leave, please fill out the summary question that is a part of your vid notes. And when you're done with that summary question, you're done.
be well. Until next time, see you later.